What's up, Signal Mountain Bible Church? Hope you guys are doing well on this Friday. Yesterday in our video, uh, Lewis gave you guys a heads up that uh, we're already looking at how, um, you know, as, as it looks like restrictions here in Tennessee are going to be um, lifted uh, next week. We're already anticipating how we might be able to come back together. Of course, specifics on those things are going to be really uh, helpful, you know, like what, uh, what size of the group can meet here. All of those details will be things that we need to know before we can actually let you guys know. Um, but we do look forward to the day when we can actually gather together, even if it's with a smaller number of you, uh, here on a Sunday morning for worship. Um, so as we move into that, once we get back to meeting again on Sunday morning in person, I also wanted to let you guys know here that we, will, we won't be meeting here at noon with our daily videos any longer. We still want to encourage you guys to pray during that time, um, but uh, we won't be sending out daily videos once we are able to uh, gather again corporately on Sunday. Uh, however, uh, we are not completely abandoning this uh, medium to communicate with you guys. Uh, we're already working on plans of, of what we want to do uh, after that time. We're, we're um, throwing around some ideas of, of how we can connect with you guys throughout the week through, through YouTube. Um, and uh, just some ideas where we feel like you could be encouraged or, or, or blessed or, or to be able to learn something throughout the week. Um, so again, these are all things that are in the work, things that are planning, um, when and how we're going to meet on Sundays, and then of course, what are we going to do on, on, on YouTube, continuing video content. Um, those are all in the works, but we wanted to give you guys a heads up that um, at some point we'll be stopping the daily video series, but it'll probably go to a once a week type of thing, and it'll be something a little bit different than what we've been doing here. You know, as we anticipate, um, like I've mentioned, uh, uh, the ne uh, next week it seems like um, restrictions will be lifted here, at least in Tennessee, as people look forward to that time where where things can maybe start to get a little bit more back to normal. Um, you know, maybe you can go to the store with your family and don't feel like you're being judged for bringing children out into to the, to the public. Um, you know, we look forward to those things. We're excited about those things. Um, however, just a reminder that, you know, although those things seem very exciting um, for us, though, uh, who've been isolating and social distancing, we look forward to those things. We do want to remind ourselves that, uh, you know, in this world, those things aren't truly going to satisfy us. They'll, they're going to satisfy temporarily. But what's going to bring true satisfaction? Being able to go to Chick-fil-A with your family, is that truly going to, uh, truly going to satisfy you? Well, no, it isn't. Those are momentary, temporary um, things that satisfy us for a moment. But uh, those things get old. We get bored with them. And we look for the next new thing that's going to bring us excitement and joy. And there's only one thing that truly brings um, permanent, eternal, everlasting joy in our lives, and that is God. Let me share with you uh, just a, a quick passage from Psalm 16. Uh, it's actually just Psalm 16, verse 11. Um, but uh, David says here, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. So, um, in, in a fallen world, uh, man is constantly looking for things that will complete him or, or bring him fulfillment and joy. Um, but God reminds us in his word that the only way to get full, complete satisfaction and joy is in him. We only find our complete joy in God and our relationship with him. Um, so even next week, um, or maybe it's over the next couple of weeks as as this isolation quarantine time 
loosens up a bit and we get to be able to get out and interact with other people and not be afraid of going to the store um, or, or things like that or to restaurants, uh, getting out in parks. Um, we do look forward to those things. They're going to bring us a satisfaction, but our sin nature is going to creep back in and, and we're going to be discontent with those things after a while. Um, uh, but just to know that full joy, full complete satisfaction is found in the Lord alone. Um, and even for, even for Christians, uh, we know that our satisfaction comes in the Lord, but even as we battle our flesh, um, we get discontent with things. So when are we going to be completely and fully satisfied, even in the Lord? Well, Scripture tells us that too. Revelation chapter 21. Let me read for you. This is the hope that we have. This is what we look forward to. This, this is the day in which um, all, all Christians anticipate. It is why we have hope. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. That's the hope that we have as Christians. Whether it's through um, um, our, our death in this life, and we get to be in the eternal presence of the Lord that way, or the Lord returns, as uh, we see in Revelation 21, and the old... Uh, of the old things pass away and then God wipes away every tear we will be with him forever that's when our joy will be um, well our joy is complete in Christ but it'll be fully realized um, uh, when we are with the Lord in eternity uh, so that's what we look forward to that's what we want to keep is uh, ever in front of us even as we as even as we do look forward to to getting out of the house and socializing um, we're reminded that our true hope and our full, true and complete full satisfaction is only going to be in Christ alone. Let us pray. God, we thank you so much, Lord, that you, um, you seek to have relationship with us. Lord, as we um, go around this life and we, we're always looking for the next thing to satisfy us and to bring us joy, uh, we know pretty quickly that that joy doesn't last. Uh, like a child on Christmas morning who receives a brand new toy and by the afternoon it's in the toy box. Uh, it's put away and they move on to something else. We're reminded, Lord, that we're never completely satisfied. We're never truly content um, until, um, until we have relationship with you. Our joy and our satisfaction in this life can only be found in that relationship with you. So, Father, we thank you that you give that opportunity through um, uh, through Jesus Christ for us to have a relationship with you and that we can be with you, we can be in your presence uh, even now through the Holy Spirit, but in eternity we get to be in your presence. And that's what we look forward to. Father, may your Spirit remind us of that truth every day even as we anticipate um, these little temporal joys uh, that we get just by being able to get out of the house after having been home for a month to six weeks. Um, remind us, Lord, that our true satisfaction comes in you. And it's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Have a great weekend, SNBC. We look forward to seeing you Sunday morning in our live stream service.